Hello everyone and welcome to the Canadian Redneck Channel. Uh, today we're going to be comparing two popular varmint calibers to uh, see how they perform. We're going to do a ballistics gel test and maybe have some of the other stuff in store also. We're going to be shooting 22-250 out of the Savage Model 110. It's got a 20 and a quarter inch barrel. And this uh, is a Savage Model 340 that's chambered in 223. We have pointed soft point bullets for both calibers. Winchester Super X pointed soft point 55 grain bullets. So it should be quite equal other than barrel length, which should be minor at the close ranges we're going to be shooting. So we'll get that set up. Okay, we, we have, have our target set up. I got a couple of blocks of ballistics gel here, probably 18 inches long altogether. Jug of water for a bullet trap, so hopefully we catch these. And uh, time to start slinging some lead. See what happens. I'll be shooting. I'll be shooting the 22 250 first. Wow, force from that has given our table a bad time. There we go. Get a nice hit center. Huh. That was the bullet right there. It, it dropped out here. I heard it ting on the middle. Made a nice permanent cavity here. Yeah. It came at the end of the block there. Okay. I found the piece of 22-250 bullet that I dropped. It's just hardly anything left of it. It seemed to stop at the end of the uh, first block. It kind of stopped in the seam between the two blocks. But I found what's left of it. It's a very, very small piece. Um, I've got the blocks reset, ready for the 223, and uh, we'll see if we can get a decent capture on that. here and it sheared out the side. Man, these little gel blocks are having a bad day. You can certainly see they're both an effective farming caliber because I mean that would that would tear a small animal up pretty good. Alright, Okay. Hit the middle left. Yep, it came right on through. Doesn't seem like it went into the second block. Oh, look at that. There's a piece of bullet there. <clears throat> Looks very much like the other little piece that I found. It uh, definitely mushrooms good. That's mainly the jacket with a little bit of the base of the bullet. It uh, wrapped itself right back around the jacket did. Definitely mushrooms and stuff the way it's supposed to. There we are. There's another. There it is. I did catch something. It's right. I had to see it in the block in the gel right there, but I did catch. We'll get that dug out. Uh, that's another. Another bullet there, the the jacket and the projectile. They were together in the block there. I'm not sure, but I think that's a piece of the 22-250. It didn't, looks like it didn't go all the way through well, the block. Maybe the box didn't work out just the way I'd hoped. So, we got some water bottles. We'll compare them head to head with water bottles. If nothing else, we'll see some water splashing around. We're going to start out with the 223 first this time. Oh, 
Well, that definitely destroyed that bottle. Number two, oh, started hooking out the side some. Hit the third bottle. Ah, we have capture right there in the bottom. Boy, I didn't capture much. Yeah, well, a lot like the other ones. There is the jacket. A few little bits of lead, another little piece of jacket. And it has the base of the bullet still locked into the uh, jacket. All right, we'll line up a few more bottles. Take a shot from the 22-250. Okay, now this shot will be with the 22-250. 223 went into the third bottle before it stopped. We'll see if the 22-250 can go any further. We have four bottles left. There was, yep. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. There's the first bottle that it hit. Ooh, water all over my camera. And the 22-250 stopped right here in the second bottle. You can see the uh, what's left of it there. So in this case, I can only assume that it has to do with uh, the shorter barrel, because uh, uh, according to all the charts and stuff, 22-250 is supposed to be a little bit hotter than 223. Not very much. Uh, I was just going to try to see, you know, trying to find out how much. But in this case, it seems like. Uh, the 223 actually has a little more snap in it than this particular 22250. Uh, I guess the only thing is to uh, try another round and see what happens. Maybe we get a little more penetration on the next one. That's a through and through. That one is tore up. Oh, no, it did it, but it did penetrate the third one that time, just barely. Yeah. Well, pieces of something did, but the bullet didn't actually go on through. It looks like it hit the bottle enough. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Right there. It hit it enough to puncture the bottle, but it did not go through. So, yeah, it seems like in this case, with this particular uh, combo of guns, the uh, 20, the 223 actually has a pack a little more punch with it. Uh, we got some more bottles here that water in them, so we're gonna shoot them. They can't, they can't be any left. Uh, but anyway, hopefully uh, you enjoyed this video, found it informative, or at least made you chuckle once or twice. Um, like, share, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.